Well, we're Jackson uh, City School, and we're here to present our plan that we discussed back in the fall. I'm here today with our senior member for two years, Jared Rice, and another senior member this year, new, Jacob Rice. We knew that we had a lot of projects, and so we needed more people. Unfortunately, Maddie Smoot is not here with us, and it's an unfortunate thing because she is actually our first ever SBDM representative for students on the council. So we were very proud of her, uh, but she couldn't attend today. Uh, just go through a couple little things. We, of course, had, uh, went to the induction ceremony where students were inducted uh, this year. Uh, we also attended our summit, as I said, last year, and two presenters here actually presented them, talking about her plan as well. Uh, and another thing, our board really appreciates boys. They were recognized at our October board meeting. So, you know, if you're looking at doing student senate and things like that in your school and you're a boy, so these guys, you need to get them involved in different uh, areas. And especially, I, we really appreciate our, you know, they value boys and students. And so, before I give it over to these guys, we have three goals this year. Student council, site-based student representative, and security, and we looked at creating ID badges per district. So I'm going to let these guys take over now. Um, our first goal was to get, create a student council. So earlier in the school year, we had a survey and it asked, do you feel that your voice is being heard in your school? And nearly 60% replied no or maybe. So to help solve this, we decided to create a school council. In this school council, we had two representatives from each grade level sign up. And then we had each grade level line come up for the election. And we had a, a poll created to vote for each student. And over 96% of the student body participated in this event. And here is our first ever student council meeting, that, which was led by our um, junior student senate me member, Maddie Smith. And here's Jeff for us to finish it. So our second goal was SBDM. And uh, last August we had a poll, and uh, as you can see, 61% said that they felt that if we had a, um, a student on the uh, school based decision making council, it would promote student voice. So we did just that. Maddie Smoot was our very first um, student on the SBD of council. And as you can see there, she is getting signed in. And now our third goal was school safety. Last August we had a poll and we gave, we gave them four options um, require staff members and guests wear ID badges, security cameras, metal detectors, or a security guard. And we chose the two that we felt were most reasonable. But now what we're talking about is the um, ID badges. <coughs> so first off, making ID badges isn't simple. We need, well, it is simple, but there's some equipment you need to um, actually go through with it. So here you can see the printer that we got. But we also needed um, ID cards, lanyards, of course a laptop to run the program, and plastic card holders. And here and there now are getting trained to um, just make the IDs. It's pretty, like I said, it's pretty simple. You know, Jaeger template, uh, Jaeger template, and um, you just get the pictures, put the names in, stuff like that. Simple. And here you can see we have some staff members wearing it. We have our um, some teachers, some um, custodians. So um, everyone wears their ID badge just about every day. And we have been contacted by the we have been contacted by the local law enforcement to um, make them badges, and um, but I think. We're still in the works of, um, you know, doing stuff like that for the community. And now I'll hand it over to Mr. Coos to finish. So, going back on the ID badges, we had no way of identifying who was walking in our hallways. And we felt, just going back to what they were saying, this would actually recognize these people in our, you know, in our buildings. And so our kids would actually know, I'm a teacher, and even though we're a small district, and we are, they still need to know that there are people that walk their house sometimes that may not be there. But 
The good news is, is not only did we design badges for ourselves and our teachers and stuff, we also have visitor badges too. And they are really easy to identify because they're big and yellow and it says visitor on them. So if a kid sees a visitor in their school that doesn't have one, they inform their teacher and then they inform the office. Simple, but it is a little tool that we use uh, for that security reason. Uh, just to follow up, and this is, we do a lot of stuff in our school with our kids because voice is big, it's through Gear Up, it's through a lot of other programs. But I just want to share a couple of things. Our leadership program actually went to Frankfurt uh, this February, presented, and some of our students in our agricultural class actually presented before the Ag Committee. So we felt that was really big for you to hear because voice is being heard there. We've also got students serving on committees such as the Health and Wellness Committee. Uh, we've got, well back in October, you know, when election was rolling around, we had all our local and state politicians come in and our students basically ask questions. And it was basically a debate for those uh, politicians based on those student answers. It was led through a class Mr. Sewell had, but it was student led. And we recorded it and placed it on the web and so forth. Uh, we've also got students involved in a lot of programs. Here at Veterans Day, uh, Maddie Smith is actually one of the presenters at that. So again, like I said, student voice being heard. Another big project that we did during the months of October through November and December, these guys actually rebuilt some old iMac machines. And we basically repurposed them with Google. And we provided that to students that were in need of devices. So that was one thing, you know, we're stepping out of the box and doing it. And then another thing, our Two ladies here downstairs today got a chance to stop by and talk to them. Uh, entrepreneurship, you know, they're coming up with ideas and they're taking steps regionally and nationally. And of course, that, I guess this is the, uh, I guess it's the lieutenant governor uh, or entrepreneurial challenge. Like I said, we are just taking steps beyond. And then these guys and myself, we work together with Gear Up because we did a lot of stuff. This is our production on our leadership in our schools, which I know we don't have enough time to do it all, but the good news is it was student-driven. All the things that you would see in this is student productions that we've done all throughout the year. And if it wasn't for these guys, you know, my job would be nothing. And I really do appreciate these two because these are my seniors, especially my son here, but you know, that, that's one thing. But all the years, because I've had five years with this group, and they've done amazing things in our district. And voice has grown from that moment. And again, we believe in their voice. So with that, any questions? I don't buzzer the meeting here, so. Thank you so much.